Okay, so this is uh, the flight simulator with uh, four screens. We've got four screens going. And uh, also got the uh, IR tracking device going so you can see how, you know, I can pan around between views. I'm flying a multi-engine. I've got my headset off right now so you can't hear the sound. can see right here we've got all of our primary uh, digital flight controls on one screen and then on the main screen right here I can uh, actually by moving forward or backward I can pan my view the, uh, the infrared tracking system picks up my head motions uh, you know so I can look over the front of the nose of the plane or the uh, landing strip, or I can pan to the left, look over the wing, I can pan to the right, look over the other wing. If I want to look down at the controls, they're right there. You can see. And I still have my uh, peripheral views, static peripheral views out the left wing, so I can keep the wings level if I want. We're flying at night, so I've got all the strobes on. I'm going to go ahead and rock the wings a little bit so you can see, you know, this is in real time. It's kind of nice. And again, you can see the horizon shift as I manipulate the aircraft. Again, you're not getting any sound right now. It's all coming over the uh, headsets right here, which... Um, no, or are they fairly realistic for uh, simulator headsets? Still got the uh, throttle controls here. Let's see if I can uh, turn on the lights and show you those. So we've got the um, you know throttle controls right here. We've got the the yoke right here. And of course, you can uh, you know set the time, whatever. Um, we've got our, uh, down here, of course, the rudder, rudder pedals, they're fairly realistic. And that's the uh, IR tracking device that uh, picks up my head motion. So, you know, fairly nice. Uh, Alright, now I think we've actually missed our... Uh, Approach to uh, Gwinnett because we've overflown uh, the airport, but we'll turn around here in just a minute and contact air traffic control.